Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Um, first, let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Alrighty, now the first thing I have to do is I have to uh, make, or put it like this. Uh, I have a couple of family members. They got me to um, see how maybe my last video regarding Megan McCain, I mean, not Megan McCain, Megan Kelly was irresponsible. Um, not the whole gist of it, but me calling her, you know, y'all know, it rhymes with witch. Um, and that I could have said that as opposed to um, flat out calling her the B word. And perhaps that is correct. I am still a work in progress, right? Um, <laughs> I am to be perfected. But I don't um, apologize because I meant what I said. However, I do believe I could have uh, took the air, I could have been more responsible. So for that, uh, I stand corrected. And uh, to my family members who watch, I see, watch my videos and telling me that that's not me, uh, I beg to differ. There is a part of me that will go there. I snap every once in a while. Um, and and um, I do have a, also the ability to Correct my behavior if I feel that that's what needs to happen. Okay, so that, now that I got that out the way, um, I still don't have no uh, sympathy for you. Already know what her name is. It rhymes with again. It rhymes with witch. But the story I want to talk about today, y'all, is uh, it's a little bit crazy because uh, according to the Daily Mail, uh, Travis Scott was lashed um, over a leery video of him singing while an unconscious fan, you know, was being carried from the crowd. And now that there's video emerging of him and Drake uh, partying at, a, I don't know, Dave and Buster somewhere, one of these places, and that they said now that this guy could be sued for billions after 68 victims joined the lawsuit. Um, it says new focus on video showing Scott singing creepy, dirge into a microphone as black out fan is carried away. The rapper 30 appears to be looking directly at the heroin scene as people beg him to stop. Anger grew today as it emerged Scott went to a post-show party with Drake at a sports bar in Houston. Travis didn't know the severity of the situation when he arrived at the party, a source told TMZ. And I, I, I would rather believe that that's more of the case. Uh, but a mass casualty event had been declared by the fire department 30 minutes before he finished his set. Was he aware of uh, Scott and Drake are being sued by 68 victims whose lawyers warned that the pair could lose billions. Furious relatives of the victims are demanding that Scott be held accountable for the tragedy. The rapper has said that he was devastated about the deaths and couldn't imagine anything like this happening. But he has twice been convicted for encouraging fans to jump security barriers and rush the stage. So they're going to probably bring that past up um, right in the midst of this. And it doesn't look good. Uh, it said Travis Scott, he's been, um, he, he, he said he's been, uh, you know, uh, somber and, and really sad and made a video regarding situation because he didn't know the, the severity of the situation while he was out at the party. 
As far as timing, this remains consistent with the fact that no one, including the police, had publicly confirmed the gravity of events that had taken place. But furious victims of family of deceased are demanding that Scott be held accountable for the tragedy. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know it, that fifty thousand is a lot of people, and I don't know how much of responsibility uh, the city uh, who gave the permits for the concert. I don't know how much responsibility they should bear, but I, I'm sure it's some. So, you know, with that being said, this is a tragedy all the way around. Um, the guy, uh, a Texas attorney, Thomas Henry, is representing the 68 victims in a lawsuit against Scott and Drake, as well as the organizers of Live Nation at the venue NRG Stadium with dozens more cases expected to follow. More attorney, uh, it, it, more and more injured victims are contacting my firm by the hour. While we were all still working to understand the scope of the Astro World tragedy, I believe that the damages suffered by its victims could total in the billions. The rapper, who said he was devastated about, it, about the deaths, couldn't imagine anything like this happening. However, he's twice been convicted again of encouraging fans to jump security barriers and rush the stage at, period, at, at, at previous concerts. My heart go out to all the people who have lost uh, someone in this uh, tragedy because that's exactly what it was. And then again, that's the high risk that you take when you uh, gather outside like this, when you gather and have a concert with so many people. Like I said earlier, I was very young uh, and I remember Summerfest, which is probably the early 70s or so. This same dynamic happened. However, nobody was killed. I don't believe. I believe that some people were uh, probably banged up pretty bad and injured pretty bad, but I don't remember any deaths coming out of it. But there were a lot of people crushed. Um, and I think, but I do believe somebody came out paralyzed. So, you know, it's very dangerous when you have large, large crowds uh, gathering like that and you don't have adequate kids security and you don't have stuff in place um, and you just thinking more on the greedy side how much money can you get out of this situation um, and that's what it looks like a lot of that was uh, how much money can we make so this is going when this 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 is really hitting the fan shit gonna hit the fan and it's gonna be a lot of heads rolling in this particular situation and um all I can say is, you know, let the um, appropriate people that, you know, should be held responsible and accountable, let let them, um, let, let them be that. Because you cannot, in a capitalist society, you cannot allow your greed. To allow you to put all kinds of kids in harm's way like this, especially for a young artist that's going to attract young people. I don't know what y'all think about it because I I feel real uh, uh uh sad about the whole situation. However, I think that uh, you know just like y'all, there should have been a lot more uh, precautions taken before they allowed those permits to go out and you know, not have enough security because I heard that uh, they allegedly talked to uh, Travis Scott before the concert started, you know, telling him that they looked like what they could see down on horizon was that it was going to be a little bit crowded. See what I'm saying? So, 
Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, you guys, um, leave your opinions below. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what you think. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.